Axon Next allows an archive to be used to record video and audio footage to replicate data from one archive to another, or from external network storage to a local archive. To set up an archive for recording, go to the Archive tab. Select the camera, then choose the recording option in the constant recording drop list. No means only event video is recorded as configured in the Detection Tools tab. The Always setting means constant recording. Video footage can also be recorded on schedule within the preset time slots. The Pre Record option activates pre alarm recording into the archive. Enter the value in seconds. If you want to prune video select specified FPS rec. This activates frame dropping to keep only iframes. You can also choose to record the low or the high quality video stream. After recording starts, you will see the information on the archive's free space and used space, as well as the retention time in the depth limit field. Click the apply button. When recording to multiple archives, you have to select the default one. You can change this selection in the computer object settings. The default archive will be displayed first when switching to viewing mode. This is where the event video will go when the alarm is activated by the operator. Replicating data from one archive to another. In Archive Settings, locate the source volume for data replication from selected cameras. Always specifies constant copying from the selected source. If you select On Demand, you have to copy files yourself or a macro takes care of syncing recorded video. The archive is now in sync and available for viewing. Replicating data from embedded storage. Data replication from embedded storage is meant to systematically copy video from IP camera memory cards to a local archive. Activate the embedded storage in its settings. It will then be available in the selected video archive settings. Then go to the archive tab. In the Recipient Archives settings, select the edge storage on the cameras and the replication period. Click the Apply button. The data is now being copied from the external storage and is available for viewing. Configuration of the archive recording and data replication is now complete.